Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to some more Door Kickers. Before we get started today, I do want to mention I've changed up my recording setup uh, quite a bit since the last episode, so if you guys notice anything wonky regarding the video or the audio, or you notice vast improvements, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know about that. But in the meantime, we are going to head straight into Mozart Street Apartments. Our intel has three tangos and maybe some more or maybe some other people maybe something uh, not sure if that means they're hostages or what exactly but we shall find out as we go into it okay so we've got troops deployed we now get this uh, deployment screen where we're able to swap out guys uh, that's kind of cool I know in some of the later missions we'll get like multiple deployment zones we'll be able to check it out from uh, like a back door and a front door all at the same time uh, that sort of thing so I'm thinking we're gonna make some dynamic entry here with a flashbang uh, want to go maybe just right into the living area uh, that should mean that anybody who has visibility into this room when we actually come into it is stunned momentarily and then we'll just have our leading man probably come straight in and clear this room while the following comes in and clears this and turns around uh, that'll give us these big opening areas and we'll still have the bathroom <laughs> finally apartments get bathrooms uh, this kind of closet area the bedroom and then this is for like tanning outside okay uh, maybe a patio we'll call that um, we'll still have those to clear so we might then uh, like regroup have one sweep up one sweep down and take it from there all right, so let us start enacting this thing. We're in deploy mode right now, but we've already got the two guys that we want on it. So we're gonna go ahead and Let's do this. get into planning mode. So from within planning mode, we will, uh, it's not gonna be throw a flashbang right away, right? We get to the door, and then in the door, we're gonna pop a flashbang. And, We throw the flashbang farther into the room. We don't cover this as well, so that would probably mean our opening man would want to come back into this room and then the other guy would go forward. Uh, so we'll try that instead. Have him just come right around, pop to there. And once he's done that, he's gonna check for clear. He's gonna face back. And then he'll be the one to take the top after that point. Should work, right? All right. We'll come right up to here. I'll have him I'm pause on. for just a second at that door. Uh, maybe turn back, check for clear again. Uh, and then his partner is going to come straight in, go straight down. I'm and on. We'll have him turn check for clear there so I'm thinking kind of depending on what's in here of course um, this initial clear check should be done by the time he's walking into here he'll be coming back through the room and then he'll turn around and he'll want to go up we'll have Got to it. snap there check for clear and then push into what about On there it. we'll have we'll have him strafe while he's walking into the room and then clear there uh, once he's done that just have him pop right Got through it. into the room we're gonna have him pop right into here as well Ooh, actually scratch that now that I think about it delete everything from there mm. I want him to get that far into the room so that we don't end up in a terrible crossfire with one another. All right, so this is gonna be our initial plan. Uh, as you know, no initial plan survives contact with the enemy, but we're gonna go ahead and see what this does for us. 
So, here we go. Flash out! Flashbangs in the room. Cops are here! Oh. Uh, okay. Well, you saw there, he didn't quite pay attention to the fact clear. that he had spotted clear. a guy Looks clear. and was shooting at him, but then he just sort of turned his back and let that guy shoot him again. Good job. We're done here. And then, of course, the lower guy did not survive his shootout Lock and load. in Let's do this. this room. So I think maybe the, like, snap back thing that's happening there is not working for him. Uh, like, that actually caused more trouble than it was worth. So, we'll have him ignore that for now. And then, with this, I guess we'll just want to have him move in. I think maybe the, uh, the problem there came from him turning out um, at the stage. Yeah. I think the problem came from him, uh, like, turning to face into the room, but there was a guy right there, and he didn't continue to engage him. Alright, so, second time is hopefully the charm. Get Cops are here. Shot. Right now. Uh, I go down. Nice. Clear. Clear. Oh, there's a guy right there. Good job. We're done here. And that time the placement was quite a bit different, uh, as you can see. Oh, and there is a challenge for using only one trooper. Hmm. Well, that might be interesting. Um, back. Ooh, that's not actually what I meant to do. Um, Lock and load. Let's oh, do I've this. Oh, I got rid of my, my plan. All right, so with only one trooper, that might be a, a challenge we try some other time. Uh, we might sweep like back through uh, all of Abort the mission. missions once we've. Uh, like gone through them one time or, or something to grab any of the optional sort of things. Um, now we are up to 10 stars. Could get like some cooler guns. Um, I'm actually thinking about better body armor considering we're uh, fighting guys with guns. Um, mm. Well, we may not have enough points for any of that stuff yet. Unfortunate. Is he only a... Yeah. I guess we could give these guys better handguns, but they're not really using them. Yeah. Maybe nothing there. Uh, on the Doctrine side of things, though, we could grab... Double Tap. Long Range Drills. We could Double Tap. Mostly encountering guys in very close quarters for right now, and that tends to matter a little bit more. All right. Well, that's going to take care of some doctrine points. We'll uh, hold up maybe the, the next time we get to, say, about 20 roster points. I think it's going to be the time where we really need to do anything there. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Door Kickers. And if you have anything to say about the uh, audio-visual quality, I would appreciate some feedback on that, as uh, hopefully... It's improved, or at least at the very, uh, very least, it's not degraded, and uh, that you guys enjoy it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me, and I will catch you guys next time.